We talk about plane in the book, and plane's a very difficult thing to pe for people to understand. I see people trying to get on the plane their whole lives and never get anywhere near it. But basically, the plane is formed by the, the shaft angle at the start. The, the, the true plane coming in, if the club's going to get back to here correctly, is the shaft has to come back <clears throat> under that line and go around under that line. Now, that's not achievable if, if, if the rest of the things aren't correct. So a lot of people get on plane or what they think is on plane when they come down. Uh, if you look at several of the top players, they'll get the club back to here, but their bodies can vary from anywhere to from this to, to this with the shaft in here. What we want to find in our plane is from the top, we want the club to drop straight onto the line that we want the club to come around on. The sensation that from the top of the swing we can drop the arms and then come around to get on the plane this way, and that's on, this is the plane. The plane is not this way on the target line. And that's what true plane is. But people get on it in different ways. Left-sided swingers usually clear and drop the club. So they'll clear and drop the club. Right-sided swingers tend to come more with the body shape not clearing and the club just dropping into the spot where it comes around. This is coming around at the bottom. And if you look at all my players at the bottom, the shaft will come around and get low again here. And the club will travel through with the head out here and the hands in here. That's what true plane is. It's always a problem with playing, with what goes up and what goes around. Because obviously everything can go up or everything can go around. So I guess in the old days, uh, the pros used to look from behind and put their arm like this to get some sort of an idea that was in between those two things. This is the vertical, horizontal, somewhere in between is a plane. The only thing is... It's, it's really, the plane is going to be influenced very much by what the body shape is, and that's why we work so much on the angles of the body to help the plane. But the plane is not exactly just one motion like this. People think that this is one plane. Ours looks a little bit more like it goes up and then around to the plane. So it's what goes up and what goes around. You can't take it all around, and you can't take it all up. A lot of that's the influence of the body shape staying the same and the coil letting my arms go up and the club go around. And my arms are still up and the club's coming around. I'm not attempting to go on a plane like this with the shaft here going straight around on plane with my shoulders and my shaft is not going to work.